Do you wake up with jaw tension and it's creating tension headaches and it's really starting to bug you? Well, I've got a solution that can help you at home and involves two simple things, a pencil with a good eraser on the end of it and a little bit of essential oils. I've got Vibrant Blue Oils Parasympathetic. And the reason I have her parasympathetic oil here is because the lime in the clove helps us to reconnect to our parasympathetic chill nervous system. Now you can use doTERRA's combination of lime and clove as well. You just take one dab of each and put it on your fingers and go for it. But I've got the combo here, so we're going with it. So Vibrant Blue Oils, get a little oil on your finger, tap them between your two pointer fingers. First place you wanna start is behind your ear. You've got this little bone, so earlobe, go behind there, just get right in there. Same thing, opposite side. Don't do at the same time, do one at a time. So get in that right side, just kinda do like a little bit of clockwise, you could do counterclockwise, you could just hold it, you could tap that area. Whatever works for you, then switch to the other side, 30 to 60 seconds each spot. Work that there. The reason that point is because that is where your vagus nerve comes out. That is your fight or flight nerve. If you wanna put it into chill mode, give it a little bit of oomph with lime and clove for parasympathetic action to chill it. Now, we've got those two points. Next two points are on the jaw right here, right where you open your mouth and close. And you can feel it kind of opening and closing there. You can rub both of these at the same time. And you can do clockwise, counterclockwise. You can hold, you can tap. You could just do like a little rubby motion like so. Whatever works for you. Now, here's another one that I find a super game changer. Run down here towards your jaw. This one might actually be even tighter. And you might even notice that there's this muscle that goes from here to here. It's called your masseter. It can be like super tight. That guy some love. One of the other things you can do is you can act like you're going to pinch your skin, but instead of pinching, separating like this. The other way you can go about this is getting that eraser here and up and down just to erase that tension away. Now some folks might have little tools, gua sha tools, you could use those as well, but I like the pencil eraser because you can just get in there like right there. And then you can and close, get in there. Another big spot is right underneath where your jaw kind of comes back in here. Only one at a time. Don't do both. Get your finger in there. Just a moderate amount of pressure. The same pressure you would use to kind of ring your doorbell. Just rub up and down. Or you could take this guy and find the sensitive spot in there and just kind of rub up and down. That'll get those spots around the jaw. The next spot is actually a spot right above your ear. Now this one might be tender here, or if you kind of poke on up a couple spots, you might find another one too. I've got one that's nice and tender right there, so I'm just going to take my pencil, just erase that tension. Just hang out like this. You could be at your desk, you know, at work, just kind of erasing the tension. Now there's lots of spots, like right here, just above my ear, in this area. Let's see if you can see, yeah, right about there, about two inches or so above my ear. Super tender as well, so just get in there. Rub it, it feels good. Now there's also another spot on the back of your neck. So this is a midline spine, just like about an inch or so out. There can be some spots in here that you could get after. And just hold the pencil eraser in there and rub it gently. If it starts to hurt, you know, it should hurt, you know, kind of that hurt so good like massage. Just get in there, work it for a little bit. That is a basic tension release for all the jaw and around the neck. Try that out, let me know how it goes.